Jesus in John 17 prayed. And Jesus said, I don't pray that you take them from the world, but I pray that they are not of the world. To be in this world, but not to be like the world. To belong to heaven. To belong to God's kingdom. Citizen of heaven. Paul says that we are citizens of, of heaven already. You see, people in the Bible walked with God. For instance, Enoch. He walked with God, the Bible says. And because he walked with God so much, God took him to heaven. To walk with God to the degree that you know him, you love him, you trust him. And the more time you spend with him, the more you are transformed into his image. You are more and more like God to the point that you are citizen of heaven. You are not like this world, but you are more and more like Jesus. God's presence in you, God's presence transforms you. You cannot transform yourself, but God's presence will transform you and make you more and more like Jesus. In a self-centered world, you will show Christ's character. You will show love, compassion. You will show understanding where people don't have too much of that. We need to be like Jesus to the degree that we are like in heaven. To the degree that heaven moves in our hearts, in our families, in our churches. To the degree that we live here just as we live in heaven. If we don't learn to have heaven here, if we don't live here like in heaven, we will never be ready for heaven. We will never go to heaven. Remember, the kingdom of heaven cannot start only when you go to heaven. You need to start now. Jesus told Zacchaeus, Today, my kingdom has entered your house. God's kingdom should enter in your heart, in your house, today. If you want to live with God today, if heaven moves in you today, then you will be ready for heaven tomorrow. I'm going to give you an example. In 1977, there was a strong earthquake in Romania. I don't remember the details, but I believe it was over 7. I believe 7.6 on Richter scale. And it was long, over one minute. I don't remember how long, but it was long. The buildings moved left and right, up and down, left and right. It was so bad that in the capital of the country, in Bucharest, many buildings collapsed. And many people, thousands of people lost their lives. During the earthquake, I was in Severin, in the city where I grew up. The earthquake was there too, but not so strong. I remember we lived in an apartment building at the fourth story, at the fourth level. When the earthquake started, it started to move the apartment, the whole building from left to right, to throw us from this wall to the other wall. My mom started to cry. Lord, please forgive my sins if I have a sin if I, uh, that I didn't confess and I don't remember. Please forgive my sins. If I die, I want to be saved. My father started to sing. Rock of ages left for me. Let me hide myself in thee. My mom said, how can you sing? My father said, very simple. I open my mouth and it comes naturally. My father said to my mom, honey, you don't wait for the crisis to solve your problems. You solve your problems every day. When you go to sleep in the night, you confess your sins and you make sure that you have peace with God. So whatever happens, you are ready. You always solve your problems every day. You don't wait for the crisis. You don't wait for the final exam to learn for the exam. You don't wait for the Olympics to prepare for the Olympics. You don't wait for the final crisis in history to prepare. You prepare in time. You don't wait for heaven to prepare. You prepare in time. You cannot prepare for the medical school in the day, in the last day when you graduate. You prepare in time. So my father said to my mom, you need to solve these problems daily. You don't wait until the crisis comes. My father said to my mom, I have peace. If God is with us, even if 10,000 would fall and die, we'll be safe. If God wants us to live, we'll live. And if God wants us to die, then I am ready. It's going to be a second to the resurrection and then I'm going to see Jesus face to face. So I have joy either way because I am not alone. I am in God's hands. And whatever he decides, I trust in him. When my father was talking to my mom, somebody knocked in the door. 
would knock in the door during the earthquake. People were running down the stairs, trying to get outside the apartment building. My father opened the door. It was our next door neighbors. His name was Mitika and her name, Nutsika. We say uh, Eleonor and Mike, maybe in English. I don't know the names in different languages. And they said, Mr. Goya, can we come in in your apartment? And my father said, why would you want to come in in my apartment? People are running outside. And they said, it's not safe in our apartment because the building may collapse. It's not safe outside because there are so many tall buildings next to each other. There is no place to run. The buildings, if they fall, they are going to fall on us. The single safe place is in your apartment. My father said, why would you think that in my apartment is safe? It's part of the same building. Your apartment is next to mine. And she said, we know that heaven is in your house. When we fight, when we scream, when we are stressed, when we watch TV, we hear you singing and praying. We know that you talk to God and walk with God. We know that God lives in you and he's in your life and your family, in your house. We can see heaven. We can see joy and peace in your house. God's presence in your house. She said, you go from apartment to apartment, from neighbor to neighbor. You give them food and you pray for them. We can see God's character in you. We know heaven is in your house. And this is the single safe place in the whole building. Can we come in? And my father said, please come in. And my father said, joking, come in heaven. <laughs> they entered. And my father said, let's sing. Oh, we don't know the song. My father said, I will tell you the words. Rock of ages cleft for me. And they started to sing. The earthquake stopped. My father looked in their eyes and he said, don't wait for the crisis to prepare for the crisis. It's too late. Don't wait for the second coming to prepare for the second coming. It's too late. You need to prepare now. So when the crisis comes, you are ready. You have peace. You need to be in heaven now. Heaven needs to be in your heart, in your family, in your life. God's presence needs to be with you now. And if you have God, you have peace, whatever you go through. When the crisis comes, you don't need to panic because you are not alone. You are with God and God is with you. It is important to have heaven in your heart, in your life, in your family now. So when Jesus comes, you will be ready. You will be already used to be in heaven, to walk with God.